I would feel much more comfortable being here if there was security. Yeah. I wouldn't hesitate at all. At the same point in time, like, you don't have to kick people when they're down. Well, people living near some city parks in Phoenix say there is too much crime and drugs and something needs to be done to make public parks safer. Well, the city council is considering hiring private security guards for overnight patrols in some parks. David Caltabiano has more on the plan and the pushback. Well, Washington Park is one of the eight Phoenix parks that some city council members want to bring overnight private security guards to. And let me tell you, it is a very controversial topic in this neighborhood. Some park goers are telling me that it's completely necessary. However, those in the homeless community say that this is another move to kick them while they're down. The park bleachers are Corey's workbench and the project. My son's birthday is on Friday. Is bringing an old bike back to life for his kid. Make his birthday a little bit more special. Washington Park on 23rd and Maryland Avenue is sometimes his home, a place to lay his head for the night. When you don't have nowhere to go, you do best you can do, you know? And this has been the best I can do more nights than not. This park and seven others have a combination of the highest number of park ranger visits, code of conduct violations, and trespass notices. Some city council members want private unarmed security guards to help a short-staffed park ranger department. The security guards watch would start at 8 p.m. until 10 a.m. The vote has been moved to next month with some council members calling for more research and citizen engagement. Critics say the idea criminalizes the homeless, as well as over police in a public area. But others want to feel safe. I think it's a great idea. Sure. Yeah, it's a great idea. And plus, I think it, in addition to the dog park, it would allow people to use other areas of the park much more comfortably. So let's be honest, it's about, dr it's about drugs, homeless people, and tra I mean, you can say trespassing. Nobody's not noticing it. If the vote passes, security would be responsible for clearing out the park once it closes, contacting city services for those who need it, and call in police if they see a crime. The contract is worth $400,000 a year and would leave people like Corey looking for another place to sleep at night. If they do their job, then why, are we, why would we be here? And this is a developing story. We'll keep you updated with the latest here and on our AZ Family News app. In Phoenix, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.